But Siemens doesn't just make rolling stock, they're involved in other projects as well. And I asked Mike Lewis about those. Mike, what else is Siemens involved in in the UK? Um, okay, we, we're very, very busy on the control centre side with Siemens. Um, we currently have uh, 98 Westcard workstations in the UK, and this is where the signalers control the railway from and actually signal the railway. Uh, and we're very, very busy in integrating now our traffic management solution into these workstations. Um, Siemens, as part of the Hackom Group with Siemens, who do all the um, timetable planning for Network Rail, um, have a system which is the offline planning system, which is widely used. Um, it has 300, they have something like 350 users. Um, what we're doing is communicating to all the operations managers within Network Rail that this system is available online and is available at their route control, that they've actually paid for the system, they have all the data for the UK, but they're not using it. So we're very, very busy now in actually demonstrating the Hakon route level uh, control to Network Rail and how we can interface that into our Westcard plan replan systems, which is part of our traffic management solution. Um, we're very busy at um, our Derby site, and at our Derby site, um, we are next month commissioning our dynamic route setting system, and that will be followed by our traffic management plan replan system. Um, the next stage then will be to integrate the system into the HACOM uh, overall route control and offline planning uh, control system. And this will give Network Rail four levels of control. An offline, uh, so they can actually um, construct their timetables and test their timetables. An online, which is a route control level, which um, will allow Network Rail to do minor changes and modifications to the route in live, on live time. Um, and then that information um, as the modified timetables that can be generated with such units um, get passed down to a signaler supervisor level who have the conflict resolution um, and can look 30 minutes to an hour ahead and look for minor conflicts and actually rectify the issues before the actual train um, information is sent to the signalers. So the idea is that the signaler will have a total conflict-free solution and it will run automatically and he will never have to intervene with the train running. Uh, and Things are looking really good for us. Um, all our development is basically near completion and we're really at a stage now where we are really ready to roll that uh, solution out. And we think it's a big, big win for the industry.